not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go uh. I'm sad and know, yeah I'm sad and know, yeah Who am I? Someone not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know all right, guys, so apparently Fortnite is being banned in Australia. I can't believe this was said. I, I don't know how to feel. <laughs> I just don't know how to feel about the situation because Fortnite is like the most cartoonish, childish game. I mean, it's not childish, but it just has a certain goofy look to it. it even kids can recognize it's not real violence. Like it's it's ridiculous. I don't know. Fortnite is a cartoon Hunger Games style battle with a deadly serious premise. Players are placed on an island armed with weapons. The aim of the game to be the last one standing. So this this was a piece of investigative journalism that was aired in Australia last night. Yes, my country of Australia aired this incredible piece of investigative journalism to warn all the people out there about how violent Fortnite is and that we should all be very, very worried about the violent nature of this cartoonish game. We should all be very, very worried. Australian media back at it again with whatever the hell this thing is. I think the best way to describe it is overreacting and scaring the hell out of older people so that they freak out and tell their grandchildren, don't play that game. And I think in general, it's just the older Australian population that freaks out about things like this, you know, a violent video game. And this time, the violent video game of the day is Fortnite. Yeah. Fortnite. No, not games like GTA or Mortal Kombat or Manhunt or any actual violent video game out there, but they're talking about how violent and corruptive this game known as Fortnite Battle Royale is. Yeah, they're actually doing this. You know, the game where you can dress up like um, the cuddle team leader or an elf or even a gingerbread dude. Like... Yeah, th this is the game that they're freaking out about, the violence. But anyway, it's time to take a look at this juicy content. We're going to dive deep into the Australian media versus Fortnite. So yeah, if you guys do end up enjoying today's video, please remember to smack that like button. Actually, just gently click that man and the Sims and stuff. Pokemon Go? Pac-Man? Actually, hold on. Let me Google Tracy Grimshaw for a sec. Okay, she's 57 years old. Hold on. <laughs> Pac-Man was made in 1980. That means she was like my age back when Pac-Man originally came out. What? First of all, Tracy, you didn't grow up with video games. You're already an adult when video games came out, so you shouldn't be talking about any of this, but let's continue. Now the latest video game craze is Fortnite. It's free, addictive, violent, and kids love it. Should you be worried? What are they talking about? Fortnite is not violent. It's currently one Whoa! Did it? Did you guys, did you guys catch that? Hold, hold on, let's replay this. Yeah, they added in some sort of scream sound that is not in the game. They added that in there. Like, come on, if you're gonna at least do journalism, investigative journalism, at least be credible and be, like, legitimate for a second. Don't add in fake screams that aren't in the game. That, that isn't in the game. The violent video game Fortnite is designed for teenagers. What's happening? But is being widely played by younger children like Michael, who is 11. Yeah, you have to make sure no one kills you. So you have to kill others. Ooh, you have to kill others. You can't be killed. It's dangerous. <laughs> like, what is this hit piece? Why is the media always hopping on the video game industry? Seamus Byrne is a gaming expert. He says the game has shocked parents because of its light rating. Violent video games are usually rated MA15+. This particular game doesn't have blood effects, for example. They're happy to give it that blue M where it's a guideline rather than an actual legal uh, framework. 
There's no chat in this game in the way that some other things do. So when parents are worried about stranger danger type issues of, of online games, it doesn't have those kinds of chat tools as well. Stranger danger. <laughs> Dude, you're playing Fortnite. Come on. Their mother, Jacqueline, has strict gaming rules in place. She allows the boys to play Fortnite on the condition their homework always comes first. Okay. See? That's actually not a bad thing, you know? Make sure your kids do your homework first. Okay, cool. But don't make it seem like it's all bad, like Fortnite. Oh, you have to kill people because you get... It's a cartoonish game. Come on, dude. Shooting games have been around since forever. Why don't they do this hit piece on GTA? The thing. It's parenting. Right there. They just disproved themselves. It's all about parenting. Sure, they may be slightly violent. You're shooting people, but it's not really. I play games like that all the time. But it's it's all about parenting. Don't let your kid play this game for six to ten hours a day rather than like doing other stuff like homework and actually interacting with the rest of the family or his friends in real life. Like, it all comes down to parenting. It's your fault as a parent if you let your kid play it for too long. Sure, he may not be as cool at school, but if you let him play for a couple of hours, it's not going to make him that much of a loser because he'll be still be playing the game, and it's not going to mess his brain up that much because he's only playing a couple of hours a day. Like, ah, parenting 2018, what are you doing? You're actually just always blaming other factors rather than yourself as a parent. But this woman's actually doing all right, I guess. She's letting her kids play for a little bit, and yeah, let's get back to the video. It seems the quest for a higher score is hurting our mental health. Problems related to the excessive use of... Okay, uh, arguably it says hurting your mental health. Arguably doing YouTube can hurt your mental health. Arguably going after money can hurt your mental health. Like anything that... In, in, like anything that has something to do with always trying to win a race it has mental health on your mental state because you're it's like you're in a race and that could have mental effects on you or physical effects even on your health that that's with anything where you're trying to do a certain like speed you know what I mean that's just how life is you got to be able to with your mind be able to balance that you know will warrant a medical diagnosis when the World Health Organization adds a gaming disorder to its class. What? Do you have to pause, pause this right here? Wait, hold on. Gaming disorder? What have they what? done? A gaming what? disorder? Really? Really? A gaming disorder? I'm done. I'm done with the media. Why is she rotating like an actual character in the game? Why? Why did you do this? <laughs> I can see that you have an iPhone, and this game is coming to the iPhone, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What does that mean for you? So now, if I go out, I probably will be playing it. <laughs> I figured it out, everybody. They just brought up that it's coming out on phones, and it's technically already available on phones, but... I've figured it out. The only reason that they've done this story is not because of violence, or because of anything like that, or parenting. It's because... Tracy Grimshaw didn't get a code for the game on mobile. <laughs> now, the best part is this wasn't the only thing that aired in Australia about Fortnite and its warnings to parents and stuff, because this aired last night, but this other clip actually aired about a week ago. Let's check this out. Welcome back. Well, if your children love video games, chances are they're playing one called Fortnite, and it has experts and some parents alarmed. With 45 million users worldwide, some as young as five, this online... Five? What are you doing? Parents! Parents! Get a hold of your children! Why? Five? I get it. Like, sure, you can play it, but Wait, it's an M-rated game. You got five-year-olds play a Fortnite? What the... F um, and it's like you said, Hunger Games style. So there's a hundred kids, they go in there, they play a game together... The last man standing wins, so they're just killing each other. There's no storyline except to kill. <laughs> that just makes the game sound so bad when they say it. <laughs> what? No! That is like the worst way. You're meant to be some sort of psychologist person that's like, that's the best explanation that you could give? <laughs> kill. Like... It's so much more than just killing. Sure, it's a part of it, but come on. Let's actually just take a look at this bloody header that they've got down here. 
video game violence. Parents warned over Hunger Games style. I mean, the fact that you can build stuff and like try to, it, it's, it's more of a survival game in a way. It's a battle royale. I mean, yeah, you gotta kill each other last man standing, but it's more survival and being strategic on how to survive. You don't kill unless you have to. You know, that's what it kind of teaches. It's not really violent, to be honest. Keep sweeping the world. Ooh. Online, and they're playing with each other, but killing each other. What sort of weapons are we talking about? Uh, rifles, uh, picks, any kind of violent kind of weapon, and then... Any kind of violent type of weapon. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, oh my goodness, it's so sad. So that no, you're not. Not unless you have like a sniper. Come on, this woman seriously did like no research. She's saying that you always. A lot of people who have not played Fortnite have not done any research on the subject, honestly. Fair thing, which I first showed that happened last night, and this thing, which happened about a week ago. You can check them out in the description down below. I'm actually kind of mad right now. My I gotta go watch this video. I gotta go watch this video. Because they're making Fortnite look bad, and I like Fortnite, man. I ain't got time. Hold on. So the first video. Has it been taken down? You're kidding. Are they banning videos now? What the fuck? We out here banning videos now. <laughs> they banning videos. Well, there's that. Oh, someone texted me. But yeah, um, anyways, guys, make sure you subscribe. Sorry. <sighs> and peace.